Welcome to the Computer Active Guide to the Ubuntu Linux Desktop. It's a little different to Windows, but don't worry, as I'll explain where all the important bits are. Ubuntu is available as a free download at www.ubuntu.com, or you can find it on the cover discs of magazines like Personal Computer World. There's no need to make any changes to, to your computer to follow this video. Simply insert the CD, start the computer, and select the option Try Ubuntu without making any changes to your system. It's a little slow this way, but it still works perfectly. After a minute or two, you'll see the Ubuntu desktop, which looks like this. Unlike Windows, it has two bars, one at the top and one at the bottom. On a Windows computer, the main start menu is at the bottom left, but in Ubuntu, you'll find the main menus at the top left. Just like the Windows Start button, the Applications button lets you run various programs. Next to it, you'll find Places, which is very similar to My Documents in Windows, and the System menu, which is like the Control Panel. The bar at the bottom is like the Windows Task Bar, so any programs you run will appear as buttons there. Left-click on a program to bring it to the front. At the far right is the Recycle Bin, where deleted files can be recovered. To run a program, click the Applications menu, and you'll find that it's a lot like the All Programs menu in Windows, but with one very useful difference. The software is all organised by what it does, not by the publisher. This is even true when extra software is installed on the computer. For example, the OpenOffice word processor can be found in the Office menu. If you install an alternative, such as Abbey Word, it will appear here as well. We all need somewhere to keep our files. In Windows, there's the My Documents folder, but in Ubuntu, this is called the Home folder. Each user has their own Home folder that is private from all the other users. To open your Home folder, choose it from the Places menu. Inside, you'll find five sub-menus, the Desktop, Documents, Music, Pictures and Videos. The section below this is dedicated to physical places on the computer. The computer option shows the contents of the hard disks attached to the computer and if you insert a CD or plug in a USB memory key it will also appear in here. The penultimate icon is used to search for files. This is an excellent way of finding a document if you can't remember where it was saved. A fast alternative is the recent documents menu. Finally we come to the system menu. This is just like the control panel in Windows. Preferences covers all of those personal settings that make a computer yours, including the desktop wallpaper, screensaver, and so on. Now, I like to set Ubuntu so that double clicking on a program's title bar makes it roll up so that only the title bar is shown. If you need to change any more technical settings, you'll find these in the administration menu. Next to the menu are some quick launch icons. Normally you'll find shortcuts here for the Firefox web browser, Evolution for reading your email, and Help. Other icons can be added by right-clicking on an empty part of the bar. To the right of this, you'll find some useful information about whether the computer is connected to a network and the time. At the far right of the bar is an icon that looks like a power button. Left-click on this to see the various shutdown options, including shutdown and sleep. 